Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So last week I talked about authentic performance tasks in mathematics and this week I wanted to show you some examples of different mathematics authentic performance tasks. So if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this week I'm going to be showing you some specific examples of how to design authentic performance tasks in mathematics using the GRASPS model by uh, UBD, Wiggins and McTie. So that GRASPS model I talked about last week, G stands for goal, R stands for role, A stands for the audience, S stands for the situation or context, P is the product or the performance, and then S is the success criteria or the standards that you want to cover. And so I was researching uh, about different authentic performance tasks in mathematics, uh, working with a lovely group of middle school math teachers. And we were trying to look at different contexts and scenarios for building good, authentic, meaningful grasps uh, tasks. So I came across this lovely resource by the wonderful Lenny Dutton. So shout out to you, Lenny. Thank you so much for sharing this resource. And I've heard that you've gone to The Hague. So I'm so happy to hear that you're going to have a much bigger impact on the world and education. So I wanted to share with you Lenny's resource on what she created for math educators and how to create authentic performance tasks. So Lenny has her own website called Excited Educator, and uh, she has lots of resources and shares lots of her wonderful ideas um, on um, education and uh, different interdisciplinary units and MIP. And I found this wonderful presentation that she gave um, to a group of math educators. So let's just go back. So um, she, she took a look at the MYP Oxford book. And in the MYP Oxford books, there are a lot of different great investigations, a lot of interesting information, background historical information, and also a lot of connections where mathematics is relevant and authentic. Lots of examples of where mathematics is authentic. So she had a look at this particular uh, description here on the appreciation of aesthetics in one of the MYP Oxford University Press books. And then she created this wonderful authentic performance task, Our Triangle is the Most Beautiful Shape. And I love how that's a provocative, debatable question because uh, it's a matter of opinion, it's a matter of providing evidence as well and support uh, of whether you think triangles are the most beautiful shape. So the goal was to create an exhibition of five to 10 artworks on the theme of triangles in art. And the role of students was gallery curator uh, or an art critic. And the actual audience was art lovers and tourists. And here is the situation or the scenario. You are creating an exhibition of famous artworks which use triangles in their composition. Before the exhibition, you'll gather data by having people vote on which of your exhibited artworks they think are the most beautiful. And then you'll investigate if the type of triangle relationship between the angles has any impact on how beautiful the artwork is. And the product is going to be a brochure for your exhibition. And then you can see the standards of the criterion for MYP, but they could be core standards or any success criteria that you have in terms of national standards too. So um, let's look at one more example, but notice how here, that this is a possible interdisciplinary unit with art. The next one I absolutely love because it's to do with 3D shapes. And in the Oxford book, they just have a summary of the different uh, three-dimensional shapes here that were covered and explored in the chapter. And so an authentic performance task that Lenny put together was called Museum Architects. The goal is to design the building for the new Museum of Numbers. I love that. And the role of the students is the architect, the audience, the city planners. You will design a new museum using SketchUp, or you can use any other software. You must use a variety of shapes. Uh, you'll be given a budget, a materials list. Make sure you use the materials list and the area of different shapes to calculate the cost of different elements, such as bricks, windows, and paint. You can generalize or round up, but you must not go over budget and this will be made using taxpayers' money. 
So the product is your 3D design along with a breakdown of costs, including calculations, and your success criteria is the different criterion for FYP. And this is a possible IDU unit with design. So I love these ideas, Lenny. Big shout out to you for all of the work that you do. Um, if you have any other suggestions of how we can create meaningful, authentic performance tasks, then please put it in the comment section below. I think uh, looking for stimulation from different resources such as the NYP Oxford books uh, really helps give us an authentic context and all we then need to think about is the goal, the role, audience, the situation which is provided for us, and the product and the success criteria. So thank you so much for joining me again this week, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.